Good afternoon, students. So we'll continue with the same chapter, chapter nine, history. So here we have already discussed about the women. Some of the part of caste also we have discussed, and now the topic which we are going to discuss is demand for justice. Demand for justice and inequality. So this is the topic which we are going to uh, cover today. Now what happened? As we have already seen, many of the reformers have raised their voice against this caste system. Okay. So issues were raised by various. non brahmin caste group so many non brahmin caste group raised this issue so what they were asking first they understood the caste difference that people are being discriminated on the basis of caste this the people have now understood and now they started raising their voice against this now see what was their this caste system in starting this caste was defined as per the work people were doing if someone was uh, uh, worshiping uh, in temples they were considered as brahmins if someone has gone for ruling or some uh, fighting they were considered as kshatriya now the people who were in this business, uh, trade and business who were in commerce so they were considered as vaishya and now the people who were of labor caste so they were considered as shudras now at first this discrimination this caste system was divided on the basis of the work people were doing later on what happened this became rigid and now the uh, the um, children who born in the, that caste they have to do the same work now the people were working as per their caste so earlier if you see the caste was divided as per their work now what was happening the children were working as per the people were working as per their caste now if someone belong to shudra caste he was not allowed to go to the temple and worship now if there was a vaishya he was not allowed to go and uh, worship uh, uh, act as a brahmin the brahmin was uh, worshiping at the temple they were taking care of the temple so they were not allowed to do so now if the people from the specific caste could do this uh, work which their caste Uh, uh, tells them. Okay, now people were working as per their caste. So the reformers now understood. The people now understood that this is wrong. That on the basis of caste, we will ask the person to work this, to do the work. This is a wrong uh, thing which we are doing. So now people started raising their voice, and we have. satnami movement in this okay and this satnami movement was founded by gajidas and gajidas organized a movement to improve the 
the social status of social status of labor workers now in our previous chapter we have already discussed in our previous class we have already discussed the uh, situation of condition of labor workers so there was a specific caste group they only were working as labor workers they only were working uh, they only were producing shoes that we have already discussed now these people were uh, taking this labor from the dead animal okay so they were working with the dead animal and that is why they were so, uh, they were considered as untouchables they were considered as impure dirty polluting so this is how they were treated now in the satnam movement gaji das what he did he organized a movement so that he can improve the social status of labor workers okay now next movement was next movement was madhu mahasangh next thing was this was basically a organization okay it was in eastern bengal this organization was in eastern bengal okay now where is this eastern bengal eastern bengal is present day bangladesh it is present day bangladesh do you people know why our bengal is called west bengal that thing you people know or not earlier this bangladesh and bengal all was together now when this bangladesh was divided this was this is bangladesh sorry this is bangladesh this is our west bengal so when this bangladesh was divided what happened this bengal was in the western side of this bangladesh that is why this this is called west bengal so this whole area was bengal earlier later on when bangladesh divided what happened this area was in the west side of the total bengal and that is why our bengal is now called west bengal but if you see this west bengal is in the eastern part of the india if you see the whole world map sorry india map this is our eastern side so we have bengal here in the in the east of the uh, india but still it is called west bengal and this questions comes in the competitive exams so please keep in mind why west bengal in spite of being in the eastern part of india is called west bengal it is called west bengal because when this Bang earlier bangladesh and west bengal was all together when there was a separation division of this bangladesh at that time uh, the, this west bengal area was in the west of that bengal it was the western part of total bengal that is why this is called west bengal understood i taught some geography in okay so mathua mahasangha was uh, in eastern bengal which is present day bangladesh okay now haridas thakur matua sept word among chandala cultivators i always tell you to keep notepad and pen with you so that you can prepare your notes also now haridas question from 
an organization so in this it was in the eastern uh, bengal that is now present day west uh, sorry bangladesh and haridas thakur he was the founder of this mutwa mahasangha haridas thakur his mutwa said work on chandala cultivators now who is this chandala cultivators have you heard the story of raja harish chandra anyone have you heard about the raja harish chandra so when he lost everything when he lost everything was we what we call him satyavadi harish chandra he always used to tell truth right so he lost everything his kingdom his wife his son everything he lost because of that telling truth quality and what happened now a chandala about uh, him as his as a servant so after that what what harishchandra was doing he used to uh, that bond the uh, dead uh, people dead human being right and whatever rituals are there after that that he used to perform right so this chandala uh, community is the community who uh, actually do all the rituals after the death of a human being understood so do, do, those people are called chandala okay now this uh, like here if you see these uh, uh, <coughs> sorry i have this uh, satnami movement in satnami movement gaji das worked for leather worker leather worker used to uh, uh, work with dead animals so they were considered polluting and uh, dirty the same way this chandala cultivators they used to work with the dead human being and they were also considered dirty and polluting so this mahamatua uh, mahasangha they worked for the betterment of this chandala cultivators understood now this haridas haridas thakur who organized this matua mahasangha he questioned the brahmanical text that supported the caste system from where this caste system came into existence do we have this in our asian text we don't have this in our asian text we don't have but it came later on later on we were divided into caste now who used to make rules and policies for this caste so that was done by brahmins yes the brahmins were having the dominating capability they were the dominators yes so everyone has to listen to this brahmins they were only knowing how to read and write so the teaching work everything was done uh, only for brahmins so these brahmins text tell about the caste system so haridas uh, he questioned this brahmical text he asked that we don't have these things our in our asian text then how it came into existence how it is done so these brahmins have done this this brahmin brahmical text is telling of us about the caste but it is not our tradition our culture which has been followed earlier it came in the middle all of it is slowly and gradually it came and who did this the brahmins they made such a rule for upper caste lower caste so that they can enjoy some privileges yes so he questioned this brahmical text that why should we listen to this brahmical text is this related to our asian text no it is not related to our asian text it is just Bra what brahmins thought what brahmins thought it will be better for them according to that they have molded this society so he has questioned this brahmical text like that okay any question till now anyone so you need to keep in mind satnami movement was founded by gajidas and that was for leather workers 
now this uh, madhur mahasangha was formed by this uh, haridas thakur and haridas thakur this madhur mahasangha worked for the chandala cultivators and both were untouchables one worked with the dead animals the leather workers worked with the dead animals these chandala cultivators used to work with the dead people dead human being so these both were considered untouchable in our society one of his famous statement
for everyone. There should be one reason for everyone. And there should be only one war for humankind. That was the thought of Sri Narayan Guru. Actually, why do we need God? Why do we need God? Basically, no one has seen God. Basically, we do this for our inner peace and for self-esteem. Right? For that, we worship the God. And if no one has seen the God, or God has not come to anyone and said, yes, do this, do that. This is how the society should run. God has never said that. So if we need God for the inner peace, for self-esteem, to increase our self-esteem, so why don't we have one God? So if there will be one God, there will be no fight. If there will be one religion, there will be no fight. And if there will be one caste, there will be no fight and no discrimination. That was the thought of Sri Narayan Guru. I am 
जाती है टिल दैट टाइम टिल द टाइम ही इज नॉट चेंजिंग हिज थिंकिंग हिज माइंड सेट ही विल बी ऑपरेस्ट बाय द पर्पस बट द टाइम ही विल थिंक नो आई एम नॉट इम्प्योर no questions only shivani is an active student rest all of coming and sleeping here when it's time to say homework everything is going on of their mind they are just going on google and trying to search where shweta ma'am has written the answer on google students manji This is the active study. Gulamgiri is actually a book written by a 
ज्योतिराव फुले सो वी आर गोइंग टू रीड अबाउट ज्योतिराव फुले एंड गुलाम बी ज्योतिराव फुले वॉज बॉर्न इन एटीन ट्वेंटी सेवन इन सतारा महाराष्ट्र so we are going to read about jyoti rao phule in our next class till now anyone any question please read some book so that whenever i am teaching you will get some help or you will have a basic knowledge what we are learning if you will sit here clueless nothing is going to help you at all and please google is not where you can study google is only you can get advanced knowledge but for that the basic knowledge should be with you if i write one word it will show me various answers for that now which answer is correct for me that i can only understand if i have basic knowledge about my topic otherwise google will confuse me and what do you you people just write a question there whatever first answer comes you write that in your google so in that what happens that doesn't match with your topic so don't do this kind of practices stop this kind of practice okay thank you everyone for today we'll continue tomorrow